We have heart and soul. <sighs> we are healing on such a deep level, guys. We're getting back in touch with our souls. If you've noticed, I know around my hometown, there has been one awful incident after another. Uh, just people being in pain and doing something in accordance to that pain. And this is the part where we've, this is where the disconnect is. We, we don't have our heart and soul in things anymore. We don't have our heart and soul uh, even into our own existence. We play by the rules. We play by what we're supposed to be doing. And it's a drain. We think that, or we've been trained to think that if you are cruel to other people, that somehow that's going to benefit you. That is going to get you ahead of the game. We've lost ourselves. But the good news is we get a lot of messaging here from, from angels and archangels that that is turning around. We see this. Go back and watch the other dailies. Watch the weekly. Something's breaking open here. Very curious to see how this turns out. So leave your comments down below. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. We have Mother Mary. Now, this concept of divine feminine energy, this has also been a very big pattern that's come out in the cards, in the messages. Make sure you go back and watch the other dailies. Make sure you're watching the weekly. This all comes together. There is such a crying out for compassion, 
for loving ourselves, for coming at our lives from a different perspective. You know, we always talk about like, oh my gosh, you know, these tragic events, all these things going on. Honestly, that is, well, I should say, unfortunately, that is the one thing that brings everybody together. Think about it. Like when something's really going down, that's when everybody stops just thinking about them. Not everybody, but, you know, people stop for a second. They get out of their routine and they reevaluate. So Mother Mary is coming forward. Say, open your heart. Have some compassion. Bring in Archangel Raphael as well. You can work with Raphael today. See where you could be more compassionate. Do you judge your coworkers? Are you judging people on the road for how they drive? Okay, like there are so many people out there who are so egotistical about driving, of, of all things, so stupid. You know, and it's usually someone, I gotta say it, but it's usually somebody who is a reckless driver and who wants everybody else to be reckless, who has the most judgment and the most whatever on the road, right? Those are the road rage people. <laughs> so like, let's not do that. Let's not participate in that. Let's not encourage it. Tune into this nurturing energy. You deserve to be nurtured. You deserve to feel compassion. And make sure you have that same compassion for other people. All right? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.